So Tyler, uh, how's the things here in the Greek national team so far? You've been here for two days, but uh, it's your second time this summer. So tell us uh, your thoughts. Um, it's been good, you know, uh, we don't have much time, but we're trying to put it together, put the, our chemistry together, learn how to play with each other every day during practice. So um, it's been great, you know, it's been a great atmosphere, great guys around here. So. It's only my second day, so I'm still adjusting to the time and everything and trying to get how tired I am out of there. So um, it feels good to be here, to have this opportunity, to have the talent we have on this team and have the opportunity to get this medal going forward into the year of basket. Your first time uh, with a, a blue and a white in uh, Crete in 2016, 17. It's been three, four years, yeah. It's uh, many more years, but oh, yeah, many more, actually. in this tournament uh, back then, uh, you got extremely close to win a medal, but uh, in the end you didn't do it. Uh, is this uh, tournament a chance with you, with Yanis, with Nikolaifis, with everybody to achieve that, to win a medal for Greece? Yeah, we want to, you know. Um want to do that and that's the goal of course and it's a process you know we got to take it day by day but that is the goal and um, we know that going forward but um, there's no pressure like I said we, we love this game we play it every day we, we sacrifice a lot so um, we, we, we're gonna represent and we, we put this jersey and it's an honor to have it on so we're representing the country so we know that every game, every time we go out there, we're going to just put it out all out there and try to put on a show for the fans. It's going to be a tournament with many NBAers for Greece because it's you, it's the Adeto Kubros. The fact that Yanis is on the team and the spotlight will be on the Greek national team is an extra motivation for you because uh, uh, you signed the contract with Dallas Mavericks but you want to show them that you deserve to have a, a big role in the rotation next year. Um, yeah, I mean, just to have the opportunity to play with a great player like him and learn from him and just play alongside him is it, great. You know, um, just like Luke, he's a great player. So to play alongside great players and to learn every day is, is great, you know, and um, obviously I'm on a two-way and there's a lot of work to be done to, to prove to the coaches. That's an everyday process and, um, and showing that every day. So this is a great opportunity to play alongside him. I'm excited just to, you know, get to know him. He, he has a wonderful story, you know. For me, the story is amazing uh, to where he's at today. And um, for me, just to, to be around them and to be around him is it, a great opportunity. More it's about the chemistry off the court to, to build that for me than on the court. Uh, you will uh, have uh, many former teammates of yours uh, from Olympiakos. Uh, you know uh, the coach Dimitri Sitoudis. Uh, what's your expectations? Because, okay, we want uh, the medal. Uh, we want the medal. But uh, what do you believe that uh, we can achieve in this uh, tournament that uh, it's in front of us? And, of course, in the windows that uh, are before the big tournament. Um, like I said, there's no telling. You know, the ceiling's high. We have a great team on roster but we got to put it together you know we got to put it together and we got to play well together that's most important it's going to be who plays well as together you know and who's going to step up during those times during those games so uh, we have a lot of good players and like i said we got to build every day until then you know we got some big games um, some friendly games and those are going to be important you know obviously we have serbia that's the first official one so you know, they got a lot of talent over there. They're a really good team. So I think that would be a really good test for us before Eurobasket. Uh, how's your uh, cooperation and, uh, with uh, Dimitri Sitoudis? Because, you know, there were some rumors that uh, he wanted you also in his team in Fenerbahce. So how's the things between uh, you and him? It's great. You know, um, I got the chance to be with him for the Great Britain uh, game. So. Um, he knows me, he knows my game well, and um, I think we're building a great chemistry. Um, I know how he kind of coached at Jessica, and um, this is great, you know, he's a great coach. So to learn from him every day and pick his brain and just knowledge, you know, I try to get, get knowledge from every, everywhere and all the experiences. So um, to have the opportunity to be coached by him is, is also great and definitely, you know, 
Fenerbahce was an option, it, it could have happened. So, but like I said, the opportunity, the NBA opened the door a little bit, and Dallas took the opportunity to offer me, and I wasn't going to turn that down. Uh, let's say something uh, hypothetical. If there wasn't the Dallas Mavericks offer, uh, the two options that uh, we know that you had was Fenerbahce and Olympiakos. If, if the NBA wasn't an option right now, what uh, would you think? Do you would you sign with Olympiakos or would you go to Fener? Hypothetical. I, yeah, I, I really don't know. You know, so I was indecisive. Like I was in between those two. I would have had to, I was so torn, you know, I love it in Olympiacos and, um, you know, Finner, I built, I built the chemistry with the coach and they were also building a great team, so it's hard to tell, you know, so I, I really didn't have a decision yet, so I'm, I'm glad Dallas came up, so I didn't. <laughs> they, they made the things easier for you, right? Yeah, they made it because I was, I was just going back and forth on it, so um, I would have made a decision finally, but I wasn't like on it like if I didn't have Dallas, I had an answer right away. I didn't yet, so it's hard to answer that. Uh, so, uh, I want you to send your message to Olympiacos fans because, you know, they loved you. They are extremely disappointed that uh, you will not be on the team next year. Uh, but, uh, you know, having you here in Greece is uh, a great opportunity to, for you to tell them what you, you have on your mind about them. Man, I, you know, I love my experience from, from everybody, from my teammates, coaching staff, everybody in the organization, you know. I loved it. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the title. And, um, but um, the experience I built and the relationships is going to last me forever, you know. So I love the fans. They always showed me love even before. So I, I'm going to love them forever. And um, I'm, I'm going to watch games, you know. I'm going to watch all Olympiacos games next year. And I'm um, going to be cheering for those guys. And um, hopefully they can make another run like we did last year. So for me, it's, 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 it's about, you know, the fans following me, you know throughout my career. You know, I've been waiting four years for this opportunity, so I know they torn about me not coming back, but this is my goal, and um, uh, I, I, wanted, I wanted to achieve it, uh, and I want to continue and hopefully build a role in Dallas. So um, I got a lot of work to do and to continue to put work in every day to make it happen. But uh, maybe sometime in the future, uh, the door uh, of uh, Pirates will be it will still be open. Yeah, uh, hopefully. Um, I don't. I'm not sure what the future holds um, next year or the following following years in my career. You know, I take it year by year and see what happens. This is just the just the business. You know, uh, just like the NBA, you get traded halfway. So it's just the business, and you just never know what's going to happen. Thank you very much, Tyler. Thank you.